10 failed assassination attempts on British royals you will never guess what the number one attempt is. Like and subscribe for weekly videos. In the comments below, list one topic you think should be in a top 10 video and comment if you subscribe to this channel. The British royal family is probably the most famous and far-reaching royal family in the world, with the Queen of England being the official head of state in 16 countries around the world. In addition to the Commonwealth, the British royal family is beloved internationally as symbols of class, elegance and humility, which they have exhibited throughout their reign. However, their high standing in society has led them to become targets for assassination for a variety of reasons. Here are 10 failed assassination attempts on the British royal family. 10 Prince Charles In 1994, Prince Charles was in Australia for Australia Day celebrations when David Kang, a former university student frustrated with the status of Cambodian asylum seekers in Australia, jumped up onto the stage where the prince was and fired two shots from a starter pistol at the prince. The prince was quickly pulled out of harm's way by his security team who then apprehended Kang. The subsequent investigation revealed that Kang had sent over 500 letters in regards to Cambodian asylum seekers to various news organizations and public officials. Of these letters, the only response he received came from Prince Charles, who had his secretary mail a response. Although unconfirmed, many believe that it was this response that led Kang to fixate on the prince and use him as a martyr for his cause. In a weird twist, Kang ultimately went on to become a barrister in Sydney. 9 Queen Victoria Likely Britain's most popular ruler, Queen Victoria governed England and the British Empire all through the Industrial Revolution, which saw gigantic mechanical development and advancement, based especially in Britain which permitted the British Empire to grow and in the end control a fourth of the world's land mass. She is likewise known for having various bombed death endeavors exacted against her. Most eminently, in 1840, soon after her wedding, the pregnant queen and her better half were riding in a carriage when Edward Oxford discharged a shot from a dueling gun at the queen. From the outset the queen accepted that the shot had originated from close by trackers, anyway instantly before Oxford had the option to shoot a second time the queen had the option to dodge for cover, and the shot missed. Oxford was then handled by the group and the Queen proceeded with her carriage ride as though nothing had occurred. 8 Queen Elizabeth II Britain's current and longest serving monarch has been Queen throughout many changes in British society, from decolonization, to the rise of the IRA and the Brexit vote and ensuing political turmoil. With such a long reign there have been many threats against the Queen's life, from organizations and individuals alike. One such instance was on October 14, 1981 when the Queen was on a royal visit to New Zealand. During this visit, 17-year-old Christopher John Lewis, using a .22 rifle, shot at the Queen from the fifth floor of an office building. Lewis missed the Queen, who did not even know she had been shot at, with authorities telling her it was only a firecracker that had gone off. Lewis, who had confessed to being involved in a terrorist organization, was only convicted of carrying a firearm in public and was sentenced to three years in prison. It is believed that New Zealand authorities covered up this incident to ensure the royal family would continue to visit, however in recent years a new investigation has been opened into the incident, which is currently ongoing. 7 King Edward VIII most popular for surrendering the seat so as to wed separated from American actress Wallace Simpson, King Edward stays a disputable figure in Britain and the world, even right up till the present time. Anyway during his concise rule he was exposed to a death endeavor by a man named George McMahon. On July 16, 1936 King Edward had withdrawn from Hyde Park in his carriage on a booked course through London, where McMahon was holding up with a pistol, wanting to shoot the king. McMahon be that as it may, likely apprehensive about what he was intending to do, dropped the pistol, causing to notice the group. At that point in a snapshot of frenzy, McMahon got the gun and tossed it at the king, missing him totally, prior to being secured by the group. 
The underlying examination accepted that McMahon was simply attempting to say something, and had no aim of really murdering the king, anyway after it was uncovered that McMahon's genuine name was Jerome Bannigan and that he was subsidiary with the Nazis, driving the last end to be that he was inspired by his Nazi belief system. Unexpectedly, Edward himself has for quite some time been accepted to have held pro-German, pro-Nazi perspectives to where he visited Hitler and was a resolute promoter for harmony with Germany. So if the king had been killed, Germany would have lost a key philosophical partner who utilized his impact to look for harmony with the Nazis. 6 King James I responsible for Protestantism being reintroduced into England, King James I made many enemies throughout his reign. Most notable the Catholic Church. So much so that Catholic rebels in UK decided to assassinate the king in a very dramatic fashion. Their plan was to hide gunpowder underneath the British House of Commons, and when the king was in Parliament to blow up the building, killing everyone inside. This plan would have worked if Guy Fawkes, who was the one in charge of planting the gunpowder, hadn't been caught in the basement of the House of Parliament. 5. Prince George Sovereign George is the most youthful in direct line for the seat, yet that doesn't make him safe from dangers. Starting in 2016, ISIS supporter Husnain Rashid started posting guidance in the application Telegraph to different ISIS allies on the best way to best objective the youthful prince. Notwithstanding those guidelines, there were additionally posts containing things, for example, the prince's school including ISIS contenders, and insults, for example, the line, even the illustrious family won't be disregarded. These photographs combined with the immediate danger against the imperial family drove British insight to make quick move and capture Rashid before he could follow up on any of his arrangements. In court, Rashid admitted to his fear-monger exercises, however was unrepentant in his activities. For King George III Britain's longest reigning king is known for leading England during some of its most notable conflicts including the American Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars. However he is also known as the Mad King due to his temper and volatile nature. With all of these conflicts during his reign, George agitated many people. One was a man named James Hadfield who opened fire while the national anthem was being played at the Theatre Royal in May of 1800. He missed the king and while he was being arrested he said to the king, God bless your royal highness, I like you very well, you are a good fellow. It was initially believed that he only said this as a way to set up a defense, however after being analyzed by three psychiatrists he was judged to be criminally insane and was sentenced to indefinite hospitalization, and died in a mental hospital in 1844. 3 Edward Prince of Wales On April 4, 1900, Edward Prince of Wales, the future King Edward VII was at a Belgian railway station when he was shot by rebel Jean-Baptiste Cipido, over Cipido's conviction that Edward was answerable for the Boer War and the monstrosities that the British had submitted against the Boers. Regardless of being shot in the face, Edward and Durand was not forever harmed by the assault. Cipido was later absolved at preliminary, in spite of overpowering proof of his blame, for the most part because of the way that he was just 15 when he completed the assault on the prince. After the preliminary he moved to France where he engaged in numerous communist exercises, and didn't have any further issues with the law. Ruler Edward later became King Edward upon the demise of his mom in 1901 and was lord for a very long time until his passing in 1911. 2. Queen Elizabeth I Religion was the central conflict in England during the 16th century with Catholics and Protestants vying for power via control of the throne. One significant instance of this was the Babington Plot, named for lead conspirator Anthony Babington who was a devout Catholic, which was meant to kill Queen Elizabeth I, a Protestant, and replace her with Mary Queen of Scots, a Catholic. Over the course of several years, Babington and his conspirators used various coded messages to plan their moves, transported in things like barrels. These barrels were intercepted by the Queen's spies, allowing them to capture, and eventually execute the conspirators, including Babington and Mary Queen of Scots. This eventually led to Protestantism being cemented as the official religion in England, a tradition that continues to this day. 
One the royal family although several of the targeted individuals in this entry have previously been mentioned, they have not been targeted altogether. Recently, the royal family had been targeted by ISIS militants wishing to assassinate the Queen, as well as other members of the royal family on VJ Day 2015, using pressure cooker bombs. The threat was considered credible enough that the British forces authorized a drone strike directed at British citizen Rayoid Khan in ISIS-controlled Syria, killing him and two other ISIS fighters before they had the opportunity to create what could have been the largest and most damaging terrorist attack in modern British history. H, 